Thanks for being here today. We're happy to provide you a shady spot after a much anticipated launch of Salt Lake City's very first e-bike rebate program. We know that our residents have been waiting a long time and this great idea came from looking at what other cities around the country are doing. Cities that are growing, cities that are facing congestion, cities that have populations who want to be more active. Populations who care about their air quality and climate change and want to do their part both for their own health and for the health of our planet. And this program came out of that desire from us. I want to thank our sustainability team. You'll hear um, today, actually after me, you'll hear from council member Eva Lopez Chavez. And I have to give the city council a great thanks for piloting this program with us. This happened thanks to the support of the council um, supporting this budget request last year. After Councilmember Lopez Chavez, you'll hear from Debbie Lyons, who is our sustainability director here, and then Trilby Cox, who is the co-executive director of Bike Utah, who's going to be doing some classes that you'll hear about. Um, also, our great partners from five local bike shops, which is the, the venue through which residents are, will show up in person to pick out the bike that works for them and access the rebate program. Um, I want to mention that this is the second part in a three-part series of air quality opportunities that the city has funded and created. The first was our, lawn, our landscaping, our lawn equipment exchange program back in May, and we took hundreds of gas-powered pieces of lawn equipment out of the air shed and helped replace those with electric uh, versions for our residents, and it was a really successful program. This is the second step in that process. And I want to mention that on lawn equipment, two cycle motors really polluting right there in your front yard and your backyard. And it's really important that we exchange out and eliminate those pollution sources so close to home. This is uh, a massive step forward, not only for air quality, but for a lot of other good reasons too. It helps us reduce traffic, especially with those five mile or fewer trips that most of us take most days of the week. You can hop on a bike reasonably and a lot of people will go farther than that, but these bikes are great for those around town trips. Um, cars are expensive also. They cost about $10,000 a year in total costs of owning a vehicle. And when we can take some of those costs or all of those costs off of our residents, we're increasing their livability and affordability of being in this city. And most of all, I like it because bikes are fun. I remember I was uh, 10 years ago, I think, I was actually 11 years ago, before I was on the city council, when I was with Breathe Utah, and I stood right over there with Ted Wilson, who was representing UCARE and um, our sustainability team to launch the Green Bike program here at City Hall, which those stations right across the street were from that. I remember Ted Wilson standing up here and saying, bikes are fun, aren't they? You remember riding as a kid? Do you remember when you figured out how to ride a bike, the freedom that gave you? And people's mouths started smiling, just like yours are smiling right now. And I knew, one, that we had a great speaker in Mayor Wilson. Number two, the bikes are this connected experience across cultures, across the planet, and across generations, actually, um, where we can find a freedom and a connection to the places that we love and places we haven't been yet. You never get to know a place as well as you do when you ride a bike. So this is a great invitation, and I'll, in closing, I'll say that uh, the rebate program ranges from $300 to $1,300, depending on your income and depending on the bike model that you choose. And there will even be some dis, uh, there may be some discounts available for safety equipment at the bike shops as well, so residents can get the tools they need to ride safe. We're so excited to launch this. It opens up today and it's a short window. It will be a lottery. It will not be first come first serve. And um, residents will be notified by July 31st through email. We'll be happy to answer quest more questions after speakers and I'll turn the time over to Council Member Lopez Chavez. Thank you, thanks Mary. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Hey everyone, I'm Councilmember Eva Lopez Chavez and that was such a fun story that Mayor just shared with us. I remember I actually learned to ride a bike at 12 years old. I was so scared 
And I'm the first one in my family to learn to ride a bike, actually, which just shows how bikes can help communicate and educate people that didn't have access to those tools or that pedestrian usage and modalities. Uh, so I remember rolling up this hill I used to live at and pushing myself down and just starting to turn the wheels and just going crazy and yelling at my dad, Dad, I did it. I'm learning to ride a bike. So that's pretty fun to me. I want to say thank you again to Mayor Mendenhall and her staff for this program, to our sustainability department and to Bike Utah and everyone that continues to help support the programs in our city that help allow us to reduce emissions and invest back in our communities. Uh, biking is one of the opportunities to continue to reduce emissions, to help clean our air and to ultimately support the communities around us and to build that community back. So it's a pleasure to be serving you. As cities look to mitigate the impacts of climate change and improve our air quality, e-bike rebates can help people reduce the numbers of trips that they take in a car. They also have the potential for e-bikes to help expand access to those with health limitations or disabilities. It's another reason that we encourage and support the adoption of e-bikes. It's going to help reduce some of the reliance on single occupancy vehicle trips, as well as just provide a more affordable option for people who might not be able to buy a car. This isn't just about people who are passionate about climate change. These can be for people who want a more affordable way to get to work, who want to go down to one car because of the expenses or want to spend more time outdoors. There's so many reasons why we want to incentivize. And I'm here to challenge each of you. Uh, I myself am a commuter. We use, we can use transit, we can use bikes, but the best part, I was just telling uh, a friend of mine, you know, I don't want to sweat to some of these events. So you can use an e-bike to get to them and have fun while doing it too. So thank you again. I look forward to this opportunity, to expanding it in the future and to investing back in more programs that benefit us and help build back and achieve better air quality. So thank you all. Uh, and our next speaker is Debbie Lyons. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Debbie Lyons. I'm the Sustainability Director for Salt Lake City and just those stories made me remember the first time uh, I was riding a bike around my neighborhood with my friends and, and the freedom like the mayor uh, expressed that it, it afforded me to go out and explore the fields around my house and, and hang out with my friends and I even remember, this is not safe, but I remember my first experience with the bike was riding on the handlebars of my older brother's bike. <laughs> so a um, lot of fun memories of, of riding bikes as a kid. Uh, we're thrilled to be able to develop and run this e-bike program out of the Salt Lake City Sustainability Department as part of our clean air initiatives. For 15 years, the sustainability team has been developing policies and programs and communicating strategies on how to reduce emissions and clear the air. Whether it's through our government operations, working with our businesses, or supporting the community, and this is just an exciting new chapter for us. I would like to thank the mayor for her leadership on air quality. She championed this idea that Salt Lake City should do this e-bike program, and she's an avid writer herself, as she's she's talked about, and I'm glad she did it. And I'd like to thank our city council as well for uh, their their part in allocating the funds and promoting this program and giving us the uh, the city the ability to uh, offer this program this year. Our team has been working very hard to design and implement this program. And I want to thank Catherine Wiffles and Salvador Brown and Jude, um, uh, and Jude Westwood for, for working on this program and, and bringing this to fruition. They've worked countless hours over, over the, the last year to bring this program to, to you. And finally, I would like to thank our uh, Information Management Services Department for their their support in creating this program, working with us on the back end logistics to collect requests from the public, uh, which is a critical need for managing all of the requests that we will anticipate. We couldn't do it without the entire city team and without the community's support. So on to the logistics and the details. The applications do open today. You can go to slcgreen.com slash ebike to learn more and to apply. The application window closes at 11.59 p.m. on July 16th. That's just one week from now. These rebates are only for Salt Lake City residents, and our team is going to do the verification of addresses. As the mayor mentioned, it's not first come, first serve. It's a, it's a lottery system, and so Salt Lakers can apply throughout the week, and the recipients will be selected by July 31st. Um, 
we decided on the, the program creation, the voucher amounts, and how this program would work through uh, lots of doing, doing lots of research, uh, talking with other cities around the country, reading academic studies on the impact of these programs, and that is how we came to this program today. We also talked with many of the bike shops and bike riders um, to learn how, how uh, to develop a program that would, that would appeal to the widest audience. We're so excited to have five amazing bike shops with fantastic bikes available for you. The program will support all of these businesses and give residents a great range of bikes to select to meet their needs. We also heard loud and clear that bike etiquette and safety are very important to the community as we launch this program. And so that was why it was important for us to work with the shops and the stores um, to make these bikes available to purchase in person so you can interact with the bike experts in these shops and learn more about safety. We also um, asked bike shops to consider including safety accessories at a discount. And finally, we're excited to partner with the bike education and advocacy organization Bike Utah to offer e-bike education and etiquette classes starting August 15th. And so all of these details are on our website. We encourage you to visit our, our website at slcgreen.com slash ebike to learn more and apply by July 16th. And with that, I will turn it over to Bike Utah. Hi, I'm Trilby Cox. I am the co-executive director of Bike Utah. Um, as those before me have mentioned, we're a nonprofit uh, dedicated to making Utah a better place to ride through education, community engagement, policy, planning, and infrastructure. To date, Bike Utah has educated thousands of Salt Lake Elementary students on bike safety, and more recently, we've partnered with the city to offer additional technical expertise on city mobility, to help install bike racks, and to work with elementary schools to run bike buses and identify safer routes to school. Salt Lake is already a fantastic place to ride, and we are certainly excited to have a role in making it even better. We're really glad to be here today to celebrate the launch of Salt Lake City and Mayor Mendenhall's e-bike rebate program. E-bikes are definitely changing the way Salt Lakers approach commuting. We're pleased to see that Salt Lake City is taking action to support more cycling transportation options in the city and helping more residents access this affordable, clean, and definitely fun way of getting around. As those who have spoke before me said, a bicycle, um, if you ride one, you know it's not just a way to get from point A to point B. Um, it connects us with our environment, it makes us and our air healthier, and it definitely brings us joy. One of Bike Utah's core programs is to offer cycling safety education. As a part of this program, we're teaming up with Salt Lake City to host free e-bike commuter education classes for those who participate in this rebate program and anyone else who would like to sharpen their knowledge of how to safely ride e-bikes around the city. These classes will include an educational session an opportunity to practice riding your e-bike and a resource fair at the conclusion. Our first class will be on August 15th. Um, as we've said, check slcgreen.com slash ebike for more information. And we certainly hope to see you there. Thank you. Uh, we failed to mention which bike shop, so I want to name these folks off. We've got Rad Power Bikes, which you know is on 7th East, just south of 21st South. Contender Bikes on 9th South and what, guys, 10th? about 10th East. Uh, we've got Trek Bicycles, which is on 5th East and 3rd South, between 2nd and 3rd South. And we have Bingham Bikes, which is on 7th East. Third south. Oh, 3rd South, thank you. Third, yeah, Pine, just on the north end of Pioneer Park, right by Caputo's, yeah. And Magnum Bikes, which is right over here on State Street between 5th and 6th South. Is that right? Yep. Okay, any questions for us? Can you talk more about how many vouchers we've given out, what quantities, how that quantities? 
Or is it, it's limited capital, right? It's, it's 230000 yeah, so because it's a three hundred to thirteen hundred dollar range depending on income and bike selected, it's really about the two hundred and thirty thousand dollars that we have to put out that will determine how many vouchers we can distribute. Is that fair, Debbie? Okay. Anybody else? How would you, so like how would this work like uh, in terms of somebody who's looking to get this rebate to sign up? What's the process in terms of purchasing a bike? So first, they should go to slcgreen.com forward slash ebikes and sign up starting today. Remember, it's only until the 16th. It's a week of sign up time. And then wait until July, by July 31st. Those who receive it will receive an email at the email they give us through the sign up form. They should not go buy a bike and then expect without knowing from us that they will get a rebate. So wait till the end of the month and then hopefully uh, you'll be selected of course make sure you live in actually salt lake city's boundaries not somewhere else in salt lake county and then um, that, that range of 1300 that's based on um, income level and also type of bike selected so like these family bikes they're, they're going to cost a little bit more than some of the smaller scale commuter bikes and there's a different rebate program for different bike selections. So we are doing some quick math. That's hundreds, maybe a couple thousand bikes on the street. Are the streets ready for that many bikes to appear? Heck yeah. Yes. We're building bike lanes all the time. And we're trying to improve the bike lanes that we have. And the city council um, considers in the CIP process each year more improvements and um, installation through the complete streets program so anytime we rebuild a street we consider the application of bike or other multi multimodal infrastructure um, and that's been something of in ordinance since the becker administration so we'll keep looking at streets and building new streets through the lens of bike capacity you mentioned that there was uh, a couple of cities that you were looking at that had done this this kind of mirrors mm -hmm. Uh, Denver most recently and it was so uh, so popular so quickly and um, successful at distributing to a range of incomes in the city that that was something that really interested my team that we be able to look at an application in a city currently that didn't just honestly make it easier for people who could afford an e-bike to get one already but was able to take into consideration um, income of households and distribute the bikes across the spectrum of income and Denver did that um, very successfully and that was the this was not in the budget the City Council just approved but the previous year's budget it's taken us this time to put together the program and so it was in their previous fiscal year that we we looked at Denver in particular okay who wants a bike just kidding Sorry, but come talk to the bike shop friends and we'll stick around if there's some one-on-one -on -one questions. Thank you.